A professor of political science, Adele Jinedu, was joined on the program by two members of the House of Representatives. Honorable Samson Osage is of the All Progressive Congress, APC, while Honorable Betty Apiafi is of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. Professor Adele Jinedu, who did not oppose the Speaker's right to defect in line with the Constitution, and joined Nigerian politicians to be mindful of the morality in law. The problem with us in this country is that we use due process to kill due process because of the technicalities involved in the law. So then let us say that you, you cannot separate politics from morality. Where morality does not involve, then you get a, a, a high level of impunity. The Minority Whip House of Representatives, Samson Usagir said, with the recent happenings as they unfold, the power still lies on the judiciary to interpret the morality and legality of the speaker's action. In Kwara State and in Sokoto State, the state's high court, which have coordinated jurisdiction with the federal high court or the FCT high court, uh, FCT high court have equally given judgments to the effect that in the Sokoto State chapter of the PDP there is a division. Deputy Chairman House Committee on Diaspora, Betty Apiafi, said the development in the House of Representatives is coming at a time when members have so much to do. We have emptied the, the, the medium term expenditure framework waiting for us to pass and we shut down the House to up to December 3rd and maybe by December 15th we we'll go back again on vacation. We are, we are paid with Nigerian taxpayers' money and we should work. The guest, however, expressed hope that the issue within the lower chamber will be addressed amicably in Abuja, Salihu Abdullahi, NTA News.